Welcome back to another episode of Big Movie Mouth Off. I'm your host, Jimmy Martin. I'm your co-host, Jeff Counts. All right, on this episode of Big Movie Mouth Off, we're going to look back, uh, we'll review a movie that was, it's been nominated for a few awards yeah. for the Oscars. Oh, we'll talk, I would say. We'll yeah. talk about that. It's going to be Darkest Hour. Yep. In the middle, we'll talk about Xfinity's VOD for the month of February. Mm-hmm. We're writing the number two, folks. Indeed. All right, but before we get to all of those, we're going to do our second part coverage talk- of the Sundance Film Festival. It's coming to an end as we record this. It's got one more day left. Yeah. That's going to be it. But uh, first of all, we're going to start off. We got a trailer for this one. It's called Genesis 2.0. Here's the trailer. Древний человек сотни тысяч лет жил вместе с мамой. Вот, For the Industrial Revolution with energy, it was the machine. For us, it's the cell. It's going to change everything. The hunters search for tusks. Each one of them desperately hopes to find the white gold. World-famous molecular engineer and geneticist George Church. He wants to bring a woolly mammoth back to life, out of a petri dish. Hopefully, mammoth. <laughs> Baby mm. mammoth. Oh la la, excellent! It's invaluable. God's word is still imperfect, but if we work together. We can make God perfect. Ну некоторые вот старики особенно говорили, что типа даже землю копать нельзя. Находить мамонтов считалось это очень плохо. Is that becoming an issue? The ethical considerations for something like that seems very sensitive. Человеческая натура такая, что надо, 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 больше, больше. В будущем посмотрим, что получится. Думает человек. Okay. You so saw it? I saw this one. Yeah. I've seen... Uh, actually, yeah. we'll talk... We're going to talk about a lot of documentaries. <laughs> what, are the, what are the numbers? How many have you seen so far? Uh, I'm at 21. I'm at one. Yeah. <laughs> It'll change next year. Yeah, it's <laughs> a difference between having a pass and not. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. Yeah. Uh, so, there you go. So, Genesis 2.0... Uh, we're going to have to fly through these. So we have yeah. Very little time. There's a lot. Genesis uh, 2.0 is about guys who uh, from Siberia mm. who take a boat ride up to New Siberia. It's islands up there. Yeah. Who want to clone Willy Mammoths. I know. And it's so incredible. They're collecting the tusk up there and then scientists back home were like give us you know yeah. the tusk give us yeah. you know DNA. they actually find one that's in such good condition they actually yeah. has, it has blood inside of it yeah like that's just, they just collect it it's insane yeah all i'm gonna say about this one is in the next 10 to 15 years it's gonna get weird. it's gonna happen because yeah. i mean just in china two monkeys and that was the day i saw the movie it, it, i was like this yeah. is getting nuts yeah they talk about cloning dogs for a hundred thousand dollars that's a rip off just gonna be main society uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot cheaper i promise you're gonna enjoy the money your old dog more. wasn't that great no it wasn't he still peed <laughs> on the rug so uh but just jumping through uh uh, Robin Williams yeah. coming to my mind. That was a great documentary. Yeah. More so, the one thing I loved about it, they showed behind the scenes footage of Mork and Mindy. Mm. Not really a PC, and, and not say PC, not for children. No. Like, there were things that these adults were doing on the set that were Absolutely. just like out of, the, out of control. But you hear the same thing about Three's Company. That was just the time. Yeah. Well, yeah. you're adults. Yeah. Like, you're, exactly. The stuff is ridiculous. Exactly. The masses love it, but yeah. we're going to be, you know, adults. Uh, so you have that one. You've got one called The Sentence that was a uh, very tearjerker about a woman who was convicted. On conspiracy yeah. from her dead boyfriend's crimes, yeah. uh, six years after they happened, she'd already had three girls. I, mandatory fifteen years. I can't believe this story. It's insane. Yeah, it's insane. I'd say the the entire audience towards the end. Yeah, yeah. I have something in my eye. When you told me about it, I will though. Yeah, it's incredible. Uh, one called Believer. Uh, this was Dan Reynolds, the the lead singer of Imagine Dragons. What was supposed to start out as a documentary about uh, Fairmont Street yeah. and, and like people you know, that molded into this LGBTQ community in Salt Lake and teen suicides and stuff like that. And he yeah. wanted to get more involved. So they did the uh, Love Loud concert down mm-hmm. in Provo. Mm-hmm. All that kind of stuff. So, it, you know, local ties here. Awesome. Got a standing ovation at where I was. Great message. Incredible yeah. message. Yeah. So it was really fun. Yeah. 
That was a great one, too. Uh, there's another one called Inventing Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. If you want to hope for the future, this is what you need to see. Because these kids are making inventions that made my volcano as a kid look like crap. <laughs> Which your dad did anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Here you go, son. Just move on. Here's some baking soda. Pour it on there. So there was that one. Uh, Studio 54. Yeah. That was a cool one. Basically, you know, paid by numbers kind of thing. But what was cool about it, the director found some guy up in upstate New York had a box, boxes of 16 millimeter footage no one had ever seen. No way. Inside Studio 54. Famous people on the footage? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow. Andy Warhol's in there, Liza no Minnelli, uh, was it Diana Ross, like just That's incredible cool. stuff. Yeah. Uh, so there's that one. Uh, RBG, which is Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Ruth Ginsburg, yeah. Fantastic one. Yeah. You saw The Last Ride. I did. I saw that with you. You can just say what you thought of it. It's not great. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a little director-ish. It's a little pretentious. It's, it's, frankly, it's not a story worth an hour and 30 minutes. Yeah. It's just there's not that much material it, there. It's kind of a dud. Yeah, it's about a it's about the last stock car, old time like homemade stock car track in Long Island. Yeah, it's the last one, and it's it's about the end of an era, which is yeah. interesting. Great slice of Americana, just not a great movie. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Yeah. Uh, jumping into more uh, of the feature films. Yeah, uh, well, there was one called I Think We're Alone Now with Peter mm -hmm. Dinklage and Elle Fanny about being the last man on Earth. This I'm Pretty excited cool. to see this one. Pretty yeah. cool. If you like Black Mirror, yeah, you like that Twilight Zone kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, there was one called Leave No Trace I just saw with Ben Foster from the same director as Winter's Bone oh. who, who discovered Jennifer Lawrence pretty yes, much. Yes, of course. And so this was pretty good about living in the woods and staying off the grid and just uh. not wanting to deal with society and PTSD and stuff like that. Ben really Foster's good. so good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a Kid Like Jake that was with uh, Jim Parsons and Claire mm -hmm. Danes about basically uh, their kid is dealing with gender identity mm -hmm. and they don't know really how to handle it. And yeah. so yeah. dealing with that with schools and whatnot it's pretty pretty good performances in that one. Uh, but jumping into one of my favorite categories real fast but we're running out of time. Yep. Uh, Midnight series. Uh, one called Revenge about a girl who is basically left for dead in the middle of nowhere, turns the tables on the three guys who did it to her, and all hell breaks loose. Yeah. And basically grindhouse. You, what you Lots of me. blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lots of blood. Yeah. Enough to the point where you're kind of laughing. Yeah. Uh, and the last one, we got a trailer for this one, Summer of 84. Some people are comparing it to Stranger Things. I'm going to say this real fast. Someone said this is a ripoff of Stranger Things. I'm going to say this. Stranger Things ripped off 80s. Absolutely. Horribly. And now that I like Stranger Things. Of course. But acknowledge what it, what it's taking from. Yeah. There's nothing original about Stranger Things. So here is the trailer for Summer of 84. If I've learned anything, it's that people hardly ever let you know who they really are. Inside any house, anything could be happening and you'd never know. You think a bunch of glorified Care Bears and Hoods could take down the Empire? They are aliens and they're highly intelligent. Scientifically the perfect woman. There's a serial killer on the loose. What else could possibly be this exciting? Mackie is the Cape May Slayer. Dude, Mackie's a cop with a sick reputation. That's why it's so genius. The suburbs are where the craziest shit happens. There you have it. Serial killer might be the neighbor next door. Kind of more like rear window. Yeah. Like right. that kind of thing. Exactly. I will say this without giving too much away. Stranger Things doesn't have the guts to slit one of the kids' throats ear to ear. That happens, folks. Neither Get ready for it. Neither, <laughs> neither, neither did the Simpsons version of Rear Window. <laughs> That's true, too. <laughs> so there you have it. That's our wrap-up for Sundance 2018. Nicely we'll, done, man. We'll review some more of uh, yeah. the National Lampoons. Actually, it's on Netflix now. Just watch it. I know. Um, and so we'll review that. Come up next on Big Movie Mouth Off. We'll review uh, or talk about VOD for the month yep. of February. Stay tuned.